Hi, my name is Laura Escudé, and I'm a violinist, composer, sound designer, and Ableton certified trainer. Here I'm going to guide you through the art and history of sampling before I move on to discuss Ableton's simpler instrument, which is a very basic sampler that is very, very powerful and can be very useful in your musical creations. So you might be wondering what the difference is between a synthesizer and a sampler. Well, a sampler is an electronic musical instrument that is very similar in some respects to a synthesizer, but instead of generating its own sounds, it uses recordings or samples of sounds that are loaded or recorded into it by a user or a composer or sound designer or anyone who likes to make music. So normally with a sampler instead of a synthesizer, the sounds are recorded using a microphone and then it's controlled by an attached music keyboard or other external MIDI source. Often many samples are arranged across the keyboard assigned to a note or group of notes and the keyboard tracking allows the, the pitch to be shifted depending on what kind of sound you're working with. So for example if I were to record a violin sample one note could allow me to change the pitch of the sample so that I can play different tones or frequencies across the keyboard which I'm using. So here we have some pictures of the first samplers. The first digital sampler was the EMS system and the first polyphonic digital sampling synthesizer was the Fairlight computer music instrument. So you can see that these look pretty old but they were very very powerful and incredible samplers that at the time, 28 megabytes of memory seemed like a whole lot, but compared to what we have now, it really doesn't seem like very much. There's also some percussion-based samplers like the SP-1200 or the Akai MPC series. These types of instruments really help the hip hop scene progress because of the ability to record your own sounds into the instruments and then mangle and twist and change the recorded sounds as much as possible to create some really interesting beats and textures and different things that weren't allowed before with the older synthesizers. During the 1980s, there were a lot of synthesizers that began mixing synthesis with samplers such as the Korg M1 or the Korg Triton. And these had keyboards that allowed you to play both the waveforms from the synthesizers and also the samples from the sampler spectrum. But now I'm gonna show you what's up with Ableton Live Simpler. Ableton Live Simpler is a very basic sampler instrument that comes in every version of the program. I'm gonna show you how to navigate your way around Simpler and create some really interesting and effective sounds for making music.